Hi guys, I have had a huge busy day. I want to show you a few sketches that I've done. And what I've been doing is I have basically converted my whole business, my systems, my consults, my designing to my iPad. So I purchased the iPad Pro a couple of months back uh, with the Apple Pencil and I have been getting used to that basically for someone who's not techie I've had to get used to that and um, it's been going really well I'm still getting used to it and working on stuff but you know it's fine it's fine here she is so I downloaded Procreate if you've got an iPad or even an iPad Pro or an iPad you will know Procreate I'm sure you will I'm actually going to show you I'm going to show you a dress that I'm loving at the moment. So we've got um, little straps, uh, spaghetti straps there. We've got a V sweetheart neckline here and it's actually a corseted bodice. So it actually goes underneath the bust here and there is an underwire as well. Um, then we follow through with the design of the lace on either side here. So we've strategically put the lace and then we've followed it down the center and then we've connected it to the skirt area here. Um, and this goes through to a chul skirt. So there's chul layers on the top and then underneath we've got the organza layer with the horsehair trim. Now, if you don't know what horsehair trim is, it's got nothing to do with horsehair whatsoever. <laughs> it's um, basically a term that we use for this stiff chul that we line uh, to give it this wavy effect. And then on the back, we've got a very similar, um, if not exactly the same silhouette with the spaghetti straps. We've done a very slight V along the back. We couldn't take it too low. Oops. We couldn't take it too low as um, it would stop the uh, strap from actually um, working. So we've got a bra strap built inside the gown here, which is really important for the client. So um, we have to keep this a little bit higher so we can still have that strap. We've got an invisible zipper down the back. We've actually lined the lace on either side here of the zipper, as well as on the outer side. And then um, we've lowered it down and bled it through to the train and just a little bit here um, just to add a little bit of something um, now there is the train of this is quite long um, it runs off the page so I just sort of keep it like this and I just put a notation uh, to the factory that um, they need to make it you know one meter or two meters long um, so that is the front and the back design and we also are doing a detachable skirt with this design. So let me pull that up for you. So you can see here, we've got a detachable skirt as well, which is made of organza and chul. Um, and we've put a little bit of lace around this waist area and this beautiful design bleeding down um, into the skirt front and back. And then we've actually got a closure here, which is an invisible zipper at the center back here. And um, basically that just lets the client go in and out of the skirt. So that skirt just sort of lifts on top and it's made of about seven layers, all of this. So, um, yeah, so this gives you an idea of sort of what I do when I'm um, specking a design for a client. Okay, now I've brought you back to this page because I wanted to show you how the specifications actually look when we um, do the specifications to the factory. So before we do this, we do clean it up. But um, when I'm actually sitting down with the customer, it looks a little bit something like this. So I'm actually detailing exactly what needs to be done with the dress, um, how full the skirt is, if there's a petticoat, uh, you know, the color of the fabrics, the type of the lace. You can sort of see here that um, I'm inserting a picture of the lace so they know which kind of lace it is. And I'm also putting a inspiration picture here on the side, which will be a lot larger. And then here you can see I've detailed, it's a 1.5 centimeter train. So, um, sorry, that's incorrect. It's a 1.5 meter train. Um, so a little bit different there. Um, but this is sort of how, this is the raw aspect. Obviously I've cleaned up the design here from when I've actually spoken to the customer. 
but um, then I send this to my assistant and she cleans up all the words and makes sure that you know they're gonna all make sense and they're all gonna work um, and that's the design so when I sit down with every customer, I do a sketch in front of them and this is so that I can communicate what they're telling me and what I think that they're wanting. Um, and once they go, yes, that's actually what I'm, what I'm after, then I you know, basically write all my notes on top of the design. So if it's um, certain fabrics that we're using, certain closure, anything specific that I will need to specify in that design, that's what I'm putting in that sketch. Um, and then once we go away, we clean it up, um, draw a proper design front and back like you just saw, and then we send that back to the client and say, okay, you've come and you've spoken to me, we've spoken about your perfect dress and this is what I have come up with. This is what I'm thinking that we're gonna make for you. What do you think? Is it what you thought it would look like? Am I missing anything? Do I need to add anything, etc.? So that's what I do with all my clients. And then once I get the approval, then I will send that sketch off to the factory where they will get it made. Um, and this usually takes around about two months, six weeks to two months, um, six to eight weeks, depending on the time of year, depending on how busy we are um, and how busy the factory is. So to recap, I am really loving Loving the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. I know that you can still do what I'm doing here if you don't have a Pro, if you've just got a normal iPad. I was just extremely picky with the touch and how it actually felt because I'm quite a fast sketcher so if the iPad wasn't going to work for me in the same way as a paper and pen would then I wouldn't convert to a digital platform. Um, so I, I think it's going really well and I think it is basically the future of my business. You know, if I'm thinking about scaling and doing a lot more gowns, um, it eliminates a lot of my process to actually convert it to digital like being in an iPad like that, then doing it on paper, scanning it, sending it to assistants, sending it to the factory. Um, it just makes a lot more sense to do it this way. I think this gown is going to look stunning 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 if you liked what you saw please hit the thumbs up button so that i know um, that i can do more videos like this and you can also be part of our community by subscribing to the newsletter on the website namiepress.com okay i look forward to seeing you very very soon